you could get a one page CV layout plan or if you want to use our plan then make sure you click the link down in the description below we'll be giving you the link for our free CV template so this is more moving on to CV so you just if you didn't know anything about a CV it's really good for other things like how do you lay out this particular type of document the other thing that you can do is, is that you can copy and paste your CV into ChatGP to help it make it better so I'm going to show this to you with a test CV Okay, so here's the CV that I made earlier. I used the CV template, which you can grab down in the description below. But really, I'm looking at this, I'm like, ah, this could be better. So what I can do is, Control A, Control C. Copy and paste this into ChatGPT. And then just say, so ChatGPT itself, if you just copy and paste the document, will already say, this is how you can make it better. But you could just turn around and say, um, can you edit my CV and make it better? So I didn't quite understand that. Can you edit my CV and make it better? question mark copy and paste CV put it in so here's one of the places where chat GPT is really quite good for picking up spelling punctuation and grammar and there'll be uh, little tweaks and changes that will have been made whenever I've been through this before um, sometimes it looks like it's cut off on maximum words but what you can do as well is you can just copy and paste individual paragraphs and say can you make this better um, which is what you do next which is just pick out sentences so you might say, so we're gonna pick this out, and you make these sentences better and easier to read. So it's just really turned achieved into developed, it's resequenced that sentence, and it is slightly better. And he's achieved 80% gender accuracy for 1.5 million names utilizing an NLP tool, developed an NLP tool to achieve 80% gender accuracy for 1.5 million names. Much better active sentence than passive. Created a system to assign a gender based on their nationality, designed and implemented a system to assign gender based on nationality. More action verbs in there may be better for application tracking systems as well. And you can go through and do that for the whole of your CV. So what about applications? So now we're on to question six. So get prompts for how to answer application questions. For example, this is an application question for TGX Europe, which runs TK Max. You can literally just take applications and just put it into ChatGPT. Um, and just get some prompts so just get an idea so pop this in and it's saying be specific explain exactly what has appealed to you the company's values the type of work that you'd be doing and the opportunities for growth and development link to your career goals mm, probably not so relevant as a graduate but still okay highlight your qualifications show your enthusiasm these are really good prompts to go by. You could break that down into an individual structure. From that, you might say, well, I really want to demonstrate why I'm highly motivated to work for TJX. So then tell me five facts about TJX Europe. And you can use that to find out facts about the business. Now remember, the cutoff point currently for data is September 2021. So you're not going to be getting anything more recent from that in terms of what's being churned out. I'm sure that that will change in the not so distant future. But if you're looking for facts from 2022, ChatGPT is going to struggle to do that for now. Now, I like these facts, but I just want them to be as specific as possible, to have as many facts as possible. So just ask it, can you give me statistics to support all these facts? So now it will go into great detail and support these facts. So whereas before it might have said, the company has a strong commitment to sustainability, of initiatives such as reducing waste, conserving energy and sourcing sustainable materials, now it will give us a really specific series of facts. TJX's Europe's sustainability efforts include diverting over 2,800 metric tons of waste from landfills in 2020. Sounds good. Sounds much more compelling than just 
we're super sustainable and stuff. Kind of carrying on with this theme of, you know, an IT analyst graduate wanting to go at TJX. So I need to know the daily tasks. I could search for it or I could just ask. So say, what does an IT graduate analyst do day to day? And then I'll get a good, again, a good overview, a good idea. And I'll go into this in more detail once I get to the end of the video, because as you've already seen and why I wanted to go through this with like so many different questions and explaining it to you, is because ChatGPT is brilliant and also has its limitations and knowing both will enable you to use the tool much better. So now I know what an IT graduate analyst does and I can then find out what are the skills that they need Right. What are the skills that I have to demonstrate in my CV? And I can get those all churned out as well. So I'd need technical expertise, analytical, analytical and problem solving skills, communication and collaboration, time management and organization, adaptability and willingness to learn. For some people, this would be incredibly obvious. For most people, it's not obvious because not a lot of thought has gone into it. And just having a tool that can verbalize what a lot of people struggle with. A lot of people struggle to write. So just having somebody, something that can just give you a prompt or something to go on, even as a rough example, is so useful.